Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to make some very simple wine bottle candlesticks for Halloween. In order to follow along with this project you're going to need glass bottles in three different sizes, three candles, a pair of scissors, a plastic container, a paintbrush, some black paint, some metallic paint and some PVA glue, some loosely woven fabric, a craft knife and a primer like gesso. You'll also need something to protect your work surface. As you can see here, I have a mini wine bottle, a full size wine bottle and a cider bottle. This is a very quick DIY and the first step is to apply primer to the surface of the bottles. I'm personally using some white gesso. If you want to, you can remove the labels before you paint them, but there isn't really any need because we'll be covering them up with fabric later on and then leave the primer to dry. As a side note, I'm planning to spray paint the bottles black. However, if you're planning to hand paint them, then now will be the time to do so. And the reason for that is that once we apply the fabric to the surface, it's going to be a lot more difficult for the paintbrush to get in all the nooks and crannies. So if you're planning to hand paint the bottles, then you'll need to apply black acrylic paint at this point. And now it's time to add the fabric to the surface of the bottles. I'm personally using some fabric called creepy cloth. However, any very loosely woven gauze or cheesecloth will do. First, cut out a piece of the fabric that can wrap completely around the bottle. Then apply PVA glue all over, like so. Then wrap the fabric around the bottle. If there are any gaps, you can always cut another piece of fabric to fill it in. You only want a single layer of this fabric, so you can cut away any excess where the layers overlap. You'll then want to apply more PVA glue on top of the fabric to keep it in place, especially the loose ends. Then do the same to the other bottles as well. Once the glue had dried, I took the bottles outside and applied a couple of layers of matte black spray paint. The spray paint I used was this one from Plasticoat. Here you can see me demonstrating applying black acrylic paint by hand, but as I said before, it's better to do this before you apply the fabric. And then once the paint had dried, this was the result. At this point, I was planning to highlight using some metallic silver paint and use red candles in the tops. However, I then found my metallic copper paint, which is my favourite, and so I ended up highlighting in copper and using black candles instead. Either of these combinations would work well, so it's really personal preference. So in order to add highlights, what we're going to do is use the dry brushing technique. And to do this, you take your favourite metallic paint and put some onto a scrap of paper or card. Then dip your paintbrush in this paint and drag it across the card to remove any excess. Then brush this across the surface of the bottle and you'll find that most of the paint will transfer to the highest points of the fabric. And you just keep repeating this all over. You'll see that I added a lot of copper, but it's really up to you how much you add. I really like this technique because it's very simple and it's also very effective. It really makes the bottles look like they're covered in copper wire. Once this paint has dried, all you need to do then is add the candles. I'm personally using these Vampire Tears candles, which are pretty cool because they're black on the outside, but they drip red. In order to fit the candles into the larger two bottles, I just used a craft knife to slowly peel away the wax at the base. 
Make sure you keep your hands well out of the way and just keep doing this until the candle fits inside the bottle. You want to make sure that these candles fit snugly and securely. In the shortest bottle, the opening is a lot smaller, so I used a blade to first cut the candle down like so. I then just repeated the same steps as before, peeling away the wax at the base. Once all of the candles fit snugly and securely, this was the result. I just think this is a very easy way to make a display for Halloween and I really hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.